Okay, guys, the biggest figure in my friend's lot. Um, there goes Brawl. Um, holy crap, this thing is huge. Cybertron Supreme Class Starscream. Um, this was one of the first figures that came out when, uh, Cybertron was around. You know, I didn't even know how to do a Transformers review back then, so... Yeah. This figure I kind of could care less about, could, all because he was so big. You know, Starscream usually wasn't this big. Eh, I guess wanting him went up a little more when he got when he got big in the cartoon. Which reminds me, sadly, I'm missing the crown and the, the gun that replaced this piece right here. That's gone too. Yeah, kill me. He rolls with the landing gear pretty freaking well, all because considering how much weight they hold up. And in the U.S. we got a red version of this, but it was reduced to like minuscule size, like Voyager size. This is supreme size, so yeah, he's pretty big. And a couple features that this one has that the other one didn't was. You can move this up and down. And he came with a crown. And, uh, another thing was the Cyber Key gimmick would flip out the swords. Whereas this one, you get one Cyber Key gimmick right about here that flips out the gun, another right here that flipped out the sword. And he's got two ports on his back that mainly just allow you to hold the cyber keys while he's all transformed and Um, anyway, speaking of transforming him, <laughs> I just get into, uh, how big he is, uh, We'll put him back here. Here is Megatron. Yeah, he's like half of he's like half the size of Megatron in jet mode. I'm gonna get him once I get him in a low I'm gonna have Brawl and Megatron in uh the review. Uh transforming him, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna split this in half. And then you're going to come back... Whoops! That's one thing that the smaller figure didn't do. Didn't fall apart nearly as much. But yeah, you kind of got to... swing them around a lot. And then you're going to come down here... and pull these pieces down. Flip this... flip up the nose cone right there. Rotate the legs. Flip up his feet. Flip out his heels. Flip in the nose cone. The pieces of the nose cone. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this entire piece. I was originally going to stand him up, but... Yeah. Uh, you're going to take that and you're going to... Okay, obviously you can see it. Ow! Jerk. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's see if we can actually attach it this time. Fold this up, and, and it tabs in right there. Stupid arms. Yeah. I don't even think... you can, I can't even get his head with where the camera is right now. But luckily... No, it's not a tripod. It's just a freaking cereal box. Um, yeah, that's pretty much his head. Put these pieces back on real quick. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I really was not expecting this to happen on this review. 
time my mom's watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. Okay, there we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna... There's the button! You're gonna flip up his arms. Again, I've only had these figures for a few hours. And, you know, bam! Bada bing, bada boom. Oh! Pull the wings down. Pull his arms down. Straighten them out. And there you go! The big kahuna in robot mode. And when I say that, he definitely is a big kahuna. Uh, get this uh, cereal box out of the way. He is huge. Like, there are no mere words that explain how huge he is. Uh, just so you can see how freaking big he is. I have to hold the camp. Whoops. I have to hold the freaking camera to show how big he is in robot mode. So in fact, I don't got a tripod. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to take that off. Oh come on, Brawl! There you go. There's Brawl and Megatron, both in their robot modes. They are both half his size in robot mode. Yeah. Starscream is big. Like he is the Kahuna of my collection. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to store him on that big, huge shelf. I'm not even storing him on it. Just holy crap. Um, one of the things that was kind of a butt, a bit of a buzzkill was, again, he falls apart. But also, he's got too simple of a transformation. I was expecting a little more from a big figure like this. But, you know. Nah. I'll get used to it. You know, I like the fact that he's, I kind of like the fact that he's so huge, but at the same time, I'm not a fan of the fact that he's so big. I mean, that's one of the things that everybody was like, you know, what the fuck? Because, look at him, he's huge. Move these other guys, whoop! Brawl just fainted because he found an enemy bigger than him. Uh, yeah. That is huge. Took so much plastic just to make this thing. Um, anyways, yeah. This is a... Bionicle Combiners video review on... Oh, wow. All I had to do was move him back. This was a Bionicle Combiners review on the... Supreme Class, Cybertron Starscream, my first one. I uh, hope, I really do hope you enjoyed this one, because I practically hurt my thumb doing this one. And, what, one thing that I thought I wasn't going to do, is I'm going to do another custom update. There's a character that one of my friends made made up completely on YouTube. You know, role players. Mm. Um her character was Silver Star, a female Autobot seeker. So basically right now I've got two options. I can either use this big kahuna which is something I actually really do want to do. Or, I could grab my acid storm and do, and, you know, mess around with me. You know, use him for the Silver Star custom. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a bit of a surprise, but somebody found out and told her that I was doing a Silver Star custom, and she, she messaged me like, <gasps> You do a silver star? I didn't know. Yeah, what about kill? Oh uh, yeah.
Anyways, custom update and a Cybertron Starscream. Supreme class size. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye, Buyers. Signing out. After a long 10 minute video.